This is the AK50 USB condenser mic. Product review time mga boss. Let's go. Start this review by checking kung ano yung makukuha niyo sa loob ng box kapag binili niyo to. Ito pala yung itsura ng box ng binili ko to. Hindi ko alam kung ganito rin yung makukuha niyo kasi usually ito mga budget na option na condenser mics or mics in general na mabibili niyo online for some reason. Nisan pa iba iba siya ng box. Anyway, this is it. Ito yung laman ng box. Alright, tabi natin yan. And this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 items inside the box. First off, you have your uh, the documentation or ito, nakasulat user manual. Typical, nothing so important about this. But while we are here, uh, tingnan na rin natin kung ano yung nakasulat sa last page, which is nakalagay yung specs. So, sa specs, nakalagay dyan, it's a condenser mic. Your polar pattern uh, or yung directivity is a cardioid uh, polar pattern. And then, this is a USB interface. Wala nang ibang connection, USB lang. And then, when it comes to the compatibility, pwede siya for both Windows and pwede rin siya sa Mac computers. Next, after that, you're gonna get your mount. So, ito yung mount niya. Magko-connect dito sa tripod, papunta sa mic. So, all plastic. This one is metal and plastic. So, it's a tripod mic stand. So, medyo mababa lang siya. Then, you have your cable. So, it's a USB-A to USB-B uh, cable. So, itong uh, end na to yung kokonek sa inyong mic. And then, this other end yung kokonek sa inyong computer. Then, you have, of course, your um, windshield. So, it's a foam. It's a thick foam. So, that's good. And then, lastly, you have your mic itself. So, yung mic is medyo mabigat. Uh, ganyan siya kalaki relative sa aking... Uh, palm and then um, meron siya ditong light indicator pagka uh, nakasaksak na tong mic and gumagana na siya and then you have your volume knob here as well then ito na yung pinaka thread niya para dito sa uh, uh, mount niya and then of course that's where you plug this USB cable so it's metal and plastic there's a bit of weight to it so at least that doesn't feel uh, na parang cheap siya so mukhang matibay din naman tong mic na to. Now let's talk about how to assemble all of these pieces together. Uh, by the way, for this video, again, gagamit tayo ng ibang uh, stand and the only reason why I'm doing that is para makikita niyo yung mic habang nire-review natin. But of course, you can always use this mic stand. Yun nga lang, kung medyo mababa yung desk ninyo, medyo mababa yung mic, right? Kasi wala na itong ibang option. That's it, yung height na nandyan. Anyway, so... To do this, of course, that's your mic stand. Usually what I do, by the way, this is not in order. Huh? This is just how I usually do it. So, una nyo i-connect yung inyong uh, mount dito sa uh, mic stand. Okay. Once you're done with this, uh, you now connect your mic papunta dito sa mic stand. So, usually, ang ginagawa ko is um, itong, itong mic yung hindi ko kasi mas mabilis pagka ganito. Ang uh, ito lang mic na to, no, medyo mal mahaba yung thread niya, kaya medyo matagal na iikot. Now, once malapit na siya dyan, I try na ang iikot ko naman is yung pinaka nasa ilalim. Kasi gusto ko nasa harapan uh, ko nakaharap yung mic. I mean, yung harapan ng mic yung nakatapat sa akin. And yung harapan ng mic na to, usually, yung mga ganito, kung nasa yung mga knobs. In case, walang ganyan, no. Tingnan nyo lang yung wiring ng mic. So, yung mic, nakikita nyo may metal, di ba? Yan yung harapan, pag wala yung wiring. Yung likod, usually, is yung merong mga wiring. So, yan, di ko lang kung nakikita ninyo. But there's a red wiring na nandyan. And that is usually yung likod. So, for this mic, ito, ngayon, ito na yung nakaharap. Then, once you're done with that, you can now use your cable, right? Connect itong end na to. Alright? And after that, you connect the other end sa inyong computer. So, yun na yung gagawin natin. And then, after that, from then on, um, itong mic na to na yung gagamitin natin sa video na to. Alright, by the way, um, hindi ko pa nilagay kanina tong windshield kasi gusto ko munang marinig ninyo yung sound nito kapag wala yung windshield. So, ito yung sound niya kapag wala yung windshield. Uh, but for the rest of this video, ilalagay na natin tong windshield, okay? Alright, so ganyan lang naman ilagay yung windshield na yan. Anyway, we are ready to test this mic. So, ayan, nakakonect na siya via the USB. And again, an indicator na gumagana na siya, you have the blue light. 
So that's your indicator na gumagana na yung mic. Now let's do our test. The first test that we will do is just gonna be i-check natin yung volume ng mic na to. So for the uh, rest of this video, I'm gonna set it at 50% ng volume knob. So right now, naka 50% yung volume knob. But in this particular test, gagawin natin is iba-ibahin natin yung position ng knob just to check kung gaano kalakas yung pickup ng mic. So right now, I'm speaking at around 8 inches away sa mic and at 50%. So we'll do at 0, uh, at 0, 25%, 50%, 75%, and then 100%. And then ibabalik natin sa 50% for the rest of this video. Okay? So now we'll do zero. Alright, so this is 25%. Okay? So yung kanina, obviously, wala kayo narinig kasi naka zero. Now this is the sound ng mic na to kapag uh, 25%. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sound check, sound check. Now we move to 50%. This is 50% uh, of that volume knob. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sound check, sound check. Now this is 75%. And ganito kalakas yung mic na to at 75%. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sound check, sound check. And lastly, this is 100%. Ganito kalakas yung mic na to. At 100%. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sound check. Sound check. Alright. So, ibabalik na natin siya sa 50%. And this is the setting na gagamitin natin throughout this video. I forgot to mention pala na yung setting natin dito sa ating test na ginagawa na to. Walang ibang sound dito sa kwarto. Nakapatay yung ceiling fan pero nakabukas yung aircon. So I'm not sure whether narinig yun ng mic natin. And nakabukas din yung PC natin na merong konting ingay ng fan ng ating CPU. But aside from that, wala nang ingay. Um, hindi rin maingay sa labas. So medyo technically, medyo tahimik dito sa ating room. And then pagdating sa setup natin dito sa PC, so wala tayong ginagawang kahit anong enhancement, hindi rin natin to i-adjust uh, pagdating sa post. Um, so wala tayong voice meter no maandar, wala rin tayong physical na mixer. So we are recording this as it is. Alright, now having said that, uh, we'll now do our um, ambient sound test. So tatahimik lang tayo for around 5 seconds and tingnan lang natin kung ano yung mapipick up niyang sound or noise. Okay? Alright, so that's it. That's our um, ambient sound test. Now, let's do our uh, polar pattern test. So, sabi kanina ng uh, dun sa specs, this is a cardioid polar pattern. So, na-expect natin mas malakas yung sound sa harapan kaysa sa likod. So, the way that we will do this test is mag-play tayo ng long beeping sound galing sa cellphone natin. Iikot natin tong mic. no, And then, uh, papanggan natin kung saan lumalakas or humihina. So that's it, no? Yan yung sound. Now, pinakinggan ko yung sound na yun na umandar. And if you remember, sabi sa uh, specs nitong mic na to, it's a cardioid polar pattern. Pero nung pinakinggan ko, parang hindi. Kasi yung likod medyo malakas din. I mean, hindi siya kasing lakas ng harapan. Pero medyo malakas pa rin kesa dun sa in-expect ko uh, on a typical cardioid polar pattern. So maybe, okay, two things. Either there's something wrong with the mic na nakuha ko or two, Hindi talaga to cardioid polar pattern. It may be a uh, hyper cardioid polar pattern. Meaning, yung harapan may pick up and then yung likod may pick up din. Pero medyo mas mababa nga lang or mas mahina kesa dun sa harapan. So, I don't know, right? But to me, that doesn't sound very cardioid uh, polar pattern. So, anyways, just in case importante sa inyo yan. Uh, so, just be aware. And then secondly, again, for any cardioid polar pattern na mic, right? Make sure na doon kayo sa tamang face nung mic nagsasalta. In this case, this is a side-facing mic. Meaning, 
ganyan yung shot ginagamit, hindi sa top. Iba kasi, na, let's say, may gumagana ng condenser mic, sa top, nagsasalita, na ganito. No? This is not the way to do or to use this particular mic, but this way. And one of the ways para malaman nyo kung doon ba kayo sa taas or sa baba, just check the mic itself. So, natatandaan nyo yung diaphragm, kanyang sinasaba natin, or itong parang bilog sa loob. Ayan, naka-side siya, di ba? Naka-side view. So, ayan. Hindi siya, kung itong ano na to is nakapaganon, then doon kayo sa taas magsasalita. But right now, it's facing this way. So, kaya yung gamit ng mic na to is pag ganito. Now, we do our sound proximity test. So, Magsalita lang tayo nung depende sa layo sa mic. Yung una, pinakamalapit. So right now, I'm really close to this mic. Ganito yung magiging sound ng mic na to. As in, ganito kalapit tayo dito sa mic na to. Alright? So ganyan yung sound niya. Next, ito yung ginagamit natin na distance kanina sa ating misalta. We're around maybe 8 inches away uh, sa mic na to. Ganito yung sound niya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sound check, sound check. Now we go approximately 1 meter away sa so mic nito. Ganito yung sound niya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Now we are approximately 2 meters away sa so mic nito. So ganito yung magiging sound niya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sound check. Sound check. Alright. So ganito yung sound niya. Balik na tayo dito sa mic natin. Again, around 8 inches away sa mic. Now we go to our keyboard test. So we usually do this just to demonstrate. No, kasi minsan pagka nag-online teaching tayo or nag stream di ba? Siyempre minsan nagta-type kayo or and gusto natin malaman kung masyado mong maingay yung keyboard natin or walang ingay. Depende dun sa pickup syempre ng mic. So relatively sa mic, yung ating keyboard ay nasa likod ng mic. Importante yung location ng pinanggagalingan ng sound when you're testing a sound. So nasa likod siya. So this is... Uh, may nyuki, ang ganda ng keyboard ko, no? Bago yan. <laughs> na joke lang. I mean, yeah. So, this is a mechanical keyboard and I am using a uh, 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 some Gatheron Brown switches kung dun sa mga familiar. So, again, mechanical keyboards are usually clicky versus their uh, uh, the normal keyboard. So, let's do that. Let's try some typing. So, right now, I'm just randomly typing anything. Okay. And now, let's do our rage typing. Alright. Okay. So, that's it. Oh, yan yung sound natin. That's the keyboard test for this mic. We do now our electric fan test. So, nasa likod ko tong electric fan na to. As in, nasa likod ko. So, malapit na malapit talaga siya sa akin. So, we'll run the three speeds and pakinggan natin kung ano yung magiging pickup ng mic na to. Remember, we're uh, using our windshield sa test na to, okay? So, speed number one muna tayo. Then, we go to speed number two. And then, we go to speed number three. Ooh, sarap lamig. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so yan yung sound ng mic with this uh, electric fan test. Now we do our patented chips test. Uh, ewan ko ba kung bakit sinasama ko tong test na to, but <laughs> gutom lang siguro. Hindi, <laughs> siguro naisip ko yung kunyari, let's say 3 hours ka nang nag stream or 4 hours, o kaya nagtuturo ka ng tagal mo, nagtuturo 2 hours, and then suddenly nagutom ka and yung isa sa mga pinakamadaling makain, oh, although it's not very healthy, is of course chips, right? So, pakinggan lang natin kung ano yung magiging sound niya. Hmm, sarap nito. Not bad. Alright, so that's it. That concludes our test for that. Kasama na rin dyan yung tunog ng kapag nagka-trample kayo ng dalagyan ng chips ninyo. Okay? So now we will do our guitar test. So, i-divide natin to sa dalawa. So we have acoustic guitar and you will also uh, use an electric guitar later. And then, uh, yung acoustic guitar, hatiin natin sa dalawa. Uh, first off is I'll just play the guitar. And then yung secondly, uh, you know, uh, nakakatakot man or uh, I mean, nakakahiyaman. 
Pero kakanta tayo. Tatry natin kumanta uh, ng uh, trying our best. <laughs> Pero kung ayaw nyo mabangungot, pwede nyo nang skip yung part na yan. We just want to show kung ano yung sound niya kapag sabay yung vocals at saka yung gitara. Alright? Alright, so acoustic guitar muna. Alright, so ito na yung gitara at saka yung vocals. Again, inuunahan ko na kayo. Pasintabi po sa mga kumakain. And pwede nyo na skip yung video na to, yung part na to ng video. Kung ayaw nyo pong bangungutin mamaya. Okay? Hanggang kailan ako maghihintay na makasama kang muli sa buhay kong puno ng dito sa ating electric guitar test para pala dito sa ating electric guitar test we'll divide it in two parts one is just the main tones and then secondly is magkakay tayo ng medyo parang distorted na sound okay so let's start with the clean tone distorted sound. sure this question is gonna be asked sa comment section just like in any other mics na ginawa na natin ng review pwede ba to sa cellphone and the quick answer to that is yes pwede nang gumana both sa iPhones or iOS devices and sa Android devices so this is my Galaxy S21 and this is my iPhone 12 all you need to do is you just need an OTG connector remember itong mga uh, plug nito diba itong mga parang ports niya dito sa inyong phone, wala dyan yung katulad ng USB uh, A na ginagamit ng mic na to. So, you just need an OTG connector. So, for example, para sa iPhone, I use this OTG connector. So, this is the lightning uh, port, di ba? Nung phone, I mean, this is the lightning port and ito yung sa lightning sa cable and then sa dulo niyan, meron pang USB na pwedeng pagkabitan ng mic. So, same goes with the Android device, right? So, for this Android device, it's also USB, but it's USB-C. Yung mic natin is not USB-C. So, we need this OTG connector, USB-C, right? This USB-C to your USB-A na connection. So, for the Android, you just do this, connect this together, and then for your iPhone or iOS devices, you just connect this, and then boom, pwede nyo na ikabit yung mic so either end na yan. Alright? So, that's it. All you need to do is just do that. Now, I'm gonna show you some samples uh, ng pag-record sa iPhone at saka sa Android device. Alright, so ngayon dito tayo nag-record sa ating iOS device. We are using our iPhone 12. Right now, ang gamit pa nating mic is yung default na mic nitong ating iPhone. Hindi pa nakakonect yung ating mic. So, ngayon, i-coconnect ko na and pakinggan natin kung ano magiging sound. Alright, 
na natin yung mic in just uh, in case kailangan yung reference ayan umiilaw na yung ating mic meaning ito na yung mic na ginagamit natin so ayan ito yung ating mic ito yung sound niya kapag ginamit niyo siya sa inyong um, iPhone para maging mic ninyo now let's try to use this mic uh, dito sa ating Android phone ngayon ang ginagamit pa nating mic is yung default na mic ng ating uh, S10 plus so ngayon pasin nyo hindi pa nakakonect so ikokonect ko na Alright, so ayan, ang gamit na nating mic is ito. So kung napansin nyo, nagkaroon ulit, umilaw na yung blue, which means uh, ito na yung gumagana nating mic. So ayan, so para dun sa tanong kung pwede nga ba gamitin sa Android phone, yes, gumagana siya sa Android phone. Alright, so sa mga magtatanong kung magkano tong mic na to, this mic will cost you around 750 to 850 pesos, depende na lang kung saan kayo titingin na store dun sa online platform na titingnan ninyo, no? sa mga online marketplace na titingnan ninyo. Um, you can just type USB condenser mic and then lalabas na yung mga result you can also type USB condenser mic AK50 and then may lalabas na rin result but unfortunately no, hindi siya right away na yun yung lumalabas so siguro ang pwede nyo lang gawin is just tingnan nyo itsura nito so papakita ulit natin siya para meron kayong reference alright so ganun yung itsura nya no, kung sakaling hahanapin nyo siya uh, sa online shops nandito na tayo sa last part ng video natin and this is our final thoughts time uh, magbibigay tayo ng comments about dito sa mic na to so let's talk about things that I like first maybe uh, of course yung USB I like it. it's a USB mic uh, plug and play wala na kung ano ng extra cable pa you just plug it to your computer or to your cell phone and then boom it's working no? pwede mo nang gamitin wala nang Kung ano-ano pang extra cable, wala nang extra audio interface na kailangan. Just plug it and play and then that's good. I like the fact that there's an indicator, no light indicator, uh, and there's a volume knob as well. Now, of course, medyo half-hearted ako sa light indicator. Uh, I don't like it that like-like, no? Kasi, uh, ayan, ang lakas ng ilaw eh. Mayroon namang ibang mic na may mga indicator, pero hindi ganito kalakas. So, sana medyo mas mahina yung ilaw para hindi naman nakakailang no? kasi nakikita nyo may blue dito kahit minsan sa mata ko tumatama yan nakakailang din, pwede nyo yung takpan of course but it's, it defeats the purpose na merong indicator so those are the, some of the things that I like about this mic, the price point is not bad, it's a 750 to 850 pesos now let's talk about the sound quality of the mic itself uh, it's okay, it's good enough, it's not the best out there, I believe, even at that price point, and then at the same time, um, so yung boses ko, or yung sound na nakakapture niya, if you notice, medyo naging manipis, di ba? So kung medyo matinis na yung boses niyo, manipis na, as dito kayong salita, baka lalo pang namipis. Kung medyo bassy yung boses niyo, no? medyo malaki, baka sakto lang sa inyo yung mic na to, pero yung normal niyang sound, medyo manipis. And then, napansin ko rin na kapag medyo lumalakas yung pickup ng sound, nagkakaroon siya ng parang artifact dun sa sound. I mean, parang siya nakiklip, kahit hindi naman dapat, di ba? So, for example, ito, yung boss na to, feeling ko, uh, meron na siyang yung parang yun nga, yung parang nagkiklip yung sound, uh, kahit hindi naman ganun kalakas yung boses ko. So, kapag nilakasan nyo yung uh, volume nyo, baka marinig nyo yun. Yung sinasabi ko na yun, na uh, parang nagkiklip yung <clears throat> sound na nakakapture nito. When it comes to that, yung sa instrument recording, I think yung acoustics and together with vocals and acoustic guitar, ano? Uh, when it comes to that recording, acoustic guitar and vocals, uh, okay naman. I mean, it's it's good enough, right? Um, yung pagkakakanta ko lang siguro yung sablay doon. <laughs> Pero kung maganda yung boses nyo and sinabay nyo ng instrumento, ng gitara, I think you should still be... Uh, having a decent sound. Not the best, again, uh, but not the worst as well. So, medyo mediocre sound yung makukuha nyo. I will never recommend this sa pagdating, sa pagre-record sa electric guitar na itatapat nyo sa amp ninyo. It just sounds bad. So, don't even try that. So, uh, I think this mic is mostly for, for let's say, vocals. I mean, streaming, uh, nag-voiceover kayo, nag-online teaching. This mic should be uh, decent enough uh, to use okay especially at that price point 750 to 850 pesos not too bad and also again yung pagre-record natin dito is as is wala tayong ginawang enhancement 
So, pwede nyo namang i-improve yan. For example, uh, pwede nyo ipasok sa voice meter, right? So, sa channel natin, pinakita na natin kung paano gamitin yung voice meter na yan. I'll post some links. Uh, and uh, try natin, no? idaan natin sa voice meter and tingnan natin. Let's have a flavor of that. Alright, so ngayon ito dumadaan na sa voice meter. So napansin nyo nagbago talaga yung quality ng sound. Of course, because pinadaan natin sa mixer. Right, so pwede namang uh, medyo mag-improve pa yung sound nito uh, pag pinadaan nyo sa uh, voice meter. Alright, okay, so balik na tayo dito kasi ito ngayon yung review natin na sound. So yeah, that's it. That's it for this mic uh, at that price point. It's okay, not too bad, but not the best as well, I believe. It's just, uh, you know, nah, mediocre uh, mic at that price point. Alright, so I guess that's it for this video. If you like our review, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. And please, pakishare na rin just in case na may mga iba pang gustong makakita ng review na to so that they can see it as well. And if you haven't, please do subscribe sa ating channel. Uh, malaking natitulong yan para magtuloy-tuloy itong ating ginagawa natin sa channel na to. Sa mga nag-subscribe na and patuloy na sumusubaybay, maraming salamat po sa inyo uh, for always being there for this channel. Alright, so I guess hanggang dyan na po muna tayo. Again, this is Kamotic Reviews. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out!